please spare some change, sir. I am so poor. How's it going, everyone? I'm Luxie, and welcome. Today we will be playing a brand new game called Hobo Touchline. Hobo Touchline. We are going to be hobos today, and we are going to be one of the best hobos that we could ever be in the world. So anyway, this is the first time of the very long time that I am doing a face cam. So if this if this is kind of weird for you, I, I, I'm so sorry, but this is how it's going to be. It feels more natural for me. So we have everything set up. We have my mic over here, and we have my beautiful wall at the back and that this is actually done by me I have painted the walls white so this is great right I mean I painted it for you guys so it doesn't look quite dirty uh, actually it was kind of dirty so I actually put on some effort put on some effort put some effort to go and paint it and make sure it's all nice and clean for you guys so enough rambling enough rambling let's continue with the game we are going to be one of the best hobos ever in the world so we are going to host shall we host the game we, i actually tried a game before but this time around we are going to start a brand new world and we uh let's make it private okay Shall we make it private? There's no max play. Okay, since it's private and it's my world, let's go. We're gonna create a world and ooh, there we go. So we start out over here in the middle of nowhere, right underneath a highway, and we have a bunch of stuff here. Do just uh, to remind you guys, I've actually played this game before, so I have a bit of experience in this game. What we do in this game is actually to find stuff here. So look at this. Press E to open. We got some useless junk, and there are a lot of stuff we can do. So I'm just going to grab all of them. I forgot what button. Okay, I is for inventory. And then we got a bunch of stuff that we can do. I'm just going to go through all of them. We've got our different kind of stats, where it's called and you you your shirt gets wet uh there's also like hunger bar your dirtiness even like uh your thirst and stuff like that you can get sick as well by drinking <coughs> by drinking too much alcohol yeah that's what i want to say so uh there we go so we got health energy food morale we've got second we've got alcohol poisoning and we even have buffs as well so there are a bunch of new stuff the person who created the game is really awesome we have different skills as well and different perks so we are going to be one of the best ever and i heard that we have i think capacity right now like limit the amount of items that we can hold in the game so this is one of the places where we can warm ourselves up it opens up this and we can burn some stuff here to keep ourselves warm so let's get out of here so most people would just get out of here okay uh, I am gonna get out of here of course I'm gonna be one of the best hobos there are so most people I think would go to that way I don't know but I'm gonna go this way there's a lot of stuff we can find over here I think let's see we're gonna be one of the people trying to scavenge as much as we can and hopefully find some stuff. See, look at this. Look at this. I'm going to take everything. We got some junk, some super glue, a duct tape. Uh, can we open this door? It's, oh, it's, it's stuck. It's, uh, it's just a... Okay, never mind. <laughs> the door is not working. All right, so we're just going to keep... Ooh, what's this? We got a crap opener. Oh, no. We got an opener and it's, and it's a crap. Okay, I'm just going to grab everything. There we go. Grab until we have nothing else to grab. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. We got some wood planks as well. And in this game, there is actually a hobo master, which we are going to go to him later on. We're going to meet him and we're going to see how this goes. He is actually one of the one of our masters. He's there to teach us how to be the best hobo there is. So he is out. Yeah, he's the hobo master. He's the master of all hobos. And we got lo some lockpicks over here. Let's try to unlock this. See if we're lucky. Uh, we're going with the right 
right. Oh man, it broke. Right, left, left. Oh man. Oh man, I am so bad. Okay, bro, bro. Oh man. now we don't have enough lock picks. So we can make lock picks as well, and we can steal stuff, stealing stuff from inside and and from shops as well. So you know what? Let's just keep going, and we're gonna meet civilization. We're gonna see people there, and we're gonna start begging some money. Aha! So I finally see some people walking around. We got some police officers over there, and we got a guy over here. So let's go ahead. We're gonna talk to this guy right now. Hello, sir. He is a stranger. Please spare some change, sir. I am so poor. No. Can you spare some change for me to live on? Alright, so then we gotta play this game where we have to hit the green part. Oh man, this is so stressful. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, please don't be angry, sir. I didn't mean by anything. So. Well, it's a bit too late for that. So we have points where we can talk to people, strangers, and we can ask them for money. And we have to play the game every single time. So that game, you gotta once you play it out, once you get used to it, you are gonna get great at the game. So right now, I am very cold. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave you be, all right? So you see, we have EXP on speech and begging as well. Oh my God, it's raining. It's raining, we gotta get out of here. We have to run away. The thing is, in this area, there is no map and we can't survive without a map. So we have to buy a map as soon as we can. And to get a map, most people do not know how to get a map. But in order to get a map, I'm going to show you guys later on. We have to go to a shop and we have to buy it. So try to avoid the rain as well because the rain tends to make you wet. Right, right now, I'm totally wet. You guys can see that uh, the bar is actually on the white area which means I'm extremely cold I even have the red thermometer over there we have to find a fireplace and start burning some stuff but uh, do we have to run in the rain we're go definitely gonna get damaged though you know what uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna should we wait for the rain or should we just go run under the rain and find some fire you know what we're gonna run we're, we're not we're not Scary cats. <laughs> Almost said the other word. All right, let's let's hope we can find a fireplace as soon as possible. Come on, come on. We gotta keep running. We gotta keep running. Our health is still there. I mean, oh my gosh, it's going down. Okay, okay. This is bad. This is so bad. I should not have ran out. This is not good. Okay, we're in shelter. We've got some stamina. Oh, that's something new. Okay. This time around, the green bar represents the stamina. I think here, yes, definitely here. We would have something here, I think. Come on, come on. Oh, man, there's no fire. Okay, the rain stopped. Okay, we got to find a fireplace. Ah, there we go, finally. All right, so the best things to to burn are uh, junk. Yeah, where, where are junk? No, not, not this junk. Useless junk. Yeah, let's stoke them, and then we're going to ignite it. Yeah! Ah, warmth. That is just what we needed. We needed warmth. Let's just keep keep warm here. Ah, all right, great. So we can build ourselves a home as well. And that home is going to be one of the best homes I am going to ever build in this game. So this is one of the best simulators as a hobo that I've ever played before. I have actually have so much fun playing this game, but I have not recorded it yet that is why i don't know why but it seems like a great game to record and show to you guys as well if so if you guys think that you want to get this kind of game you know just watch a couple more episodes first before thinking of buying all right so we've got a back door here we can talk to the working man usually we can sell him some stuff there are a bunch of stuff we can talk to him about uh, have anything to spare here you look look at the green bars and look at the speed of the thing yes. if you're not focused oh wow I can't believe I did that okay so you can ask for stuff that okay you can ask for junk you can ask for empty bottles but first things first always ask for empty bottles because you can sell these bottles thanks boss Thank you. Thank you so much for bottles. It will help quite a lot. Because these bottles, we can sell the bottles and it's awesome. These bottles are great. 
Yeah, <laughs> can't believe my voice is choking up. All right, all right. Okay, let's go. We're gonna grab some stuff here in a bean. This is called dumpster diving, and it's one of the best ways to get bottles as well and stuff. A lot of stuff. But you will get this uh poop over there and it will damage you look at that it damaged me quite a bit there and we have the get bleh. smelted sign and bleh. <laughs> it will bleh. that's the thing it, it's very hard to bleh. start off the game if you don't know bleh. how to play it at first so look at that i'm getting smelted so badly Ooh. there are a lot of poop that you can find inside this so you have to be careful Ew. so once you get higher perks you won't Blech. be able to get more and more of these poops so uh, yeah th that's why we have to grind it out and that is great so it makes it very very realistic and very hot no actually it's not that realistic <laughs> i mean it makes it kind of hard to play because it's very harsh the conditions if you don't know what you're doing so ooh, we have a button ooh, we're in a pub uh, we can order some stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see We can have a beer and we can have a shot. Uh, you know what? I have no money. I I'm just gonna leave. I'm sorry uh, Let me just grab some stuff here. Ooh, we got a tobacco a butt. Oh, let me just I Mean that's a cigarette not a tobacco All right, so this exclamation mark here is actually a poop so once since now my level is level one i think dumpster diving once it's level two we can have two exclamation mark which is two okay that one is gonna be poop you want a bad i knew it i knew it i told you guys so in the small ones there are usually two poops that uh we can find inside so there are a bunch of stuff we can do you can be a correct how do you say that charismatic yeah a charismatic person where you can go around asking people for money you can be a dumpster diving god where you can just go around in the dumpsters grab as much bottles as you can and of course sell them off so right now we have a bunch of bottles and we have no map right we press m there's no map in our inventory so we have to find ourselves a map as soon as possible so i think here oh wow it's just right here so, uh, tobacconist, yeah, I think he sells a map. There we go, so we got a map here. It's $50, and we have no money, so we have to sell, and we got nothing to sell. That is so sad. So, where do we sell our bottles, guys? Where do we sell our bottles? Not to this guy. We have to sell them at other places, like, uh, the markets and stuff like that. They usually buy. So, we don't, the, the thing is, the map is pretty hard to come by it's 50 gold and we only have 20 right now so we have to find like a mall or something so i think inside inside the arena hello how are you doing arena what is it greetings what can i do for you what is it that you can actually do for me i can help you register for the employment <laughs> why why we could actually work christ please don't leave Okay, so employment office, we can't work, we have to be a hobo. What about this one? With, oh, it's the police. No, you know what? Never mind. Let's go. Uh, we, we gotta find somewhere that we can actually sell the bottles at. I think it, this is the place. Okay, the toba tobacconist, the tobacco guy is over here and the thing is beside here. So this one's a salesman. Let's see. Ah, so he buys bottles from us. So we have to sell our bottles. I think we have a bunch. Well, we have 13 bottles and we're going to sell that. Nice. We got 30 and sell three. Sell one for three. Okay, a bottle for three crowns. There we go. And we're done. Okay. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, a uh, snack bar. So this is a snack bar. We're going to see what, what kind of snacks he sells. Okay, I'm going to buy some stuff. So we got some rolls. Some energy drinks and chocolate bars. So look at that. It it adds a total of six energy here. So the best one here would be the hamburger, which adds a total of 30, and the ham sub, a 30 as well. So we can see the prices here. The ham sub is 30 gold, while the hamburger is 50 gold. So obviously, I would go for the ham sub. I mean, cheaper, right? So much better. All right, so escape. I think the ham sub is the best choice that we can find ever. All right, so next up, we have enough money for our... Uh, where is it? Our map. 
we finally have our map yes please there we go so now we have our map and if we press M we can find ourselves in a beautiful press lab is that's how we pronounce it downtown area and now we're gonna have a look at the hobo master I know exactly where he is so we're just gonna keep walking I think he's close by yeah he's close by wow I can't believe we're so near okay so I'm gonna lit like uh probably take note of this area there is uh the snails man and the the, uh, the the tobacconist guy over there and the hobo master is right here definitely right here i've been playing quite a lot last time so i definitely know where he is so he lives over here and there is a sign over here that says master hobo we're definitely gonna see him so if you guys don't know where it is it's over here i'm gonna show you in the map pretty awesome if you guys don't are, are like struggling to have the map you can look at the map in google i mean you google for the hobo map so uh and you can actually find yourself like around there's a lot of different places here and it will help you out so there we go hobo master is in here well he, he actually have a face right now so that is great oh wow look at him all bearded up he definitely looks like a master to me all right yo how's it going hi lout i'm not a lout my name's luxy don't you know who you're talking to? Hmm, apparently not. We have never met, so... Silence, worm! I am master! I am the mystical NPC that has to serve here and represent many other NPCs until the content of this game is truly finished. I am the one who will teach you the ancient knowledge of the street. I am the one who will pass to you, or in fact, sell you the necessary skills to help you battle yourself in the street. I am master. Ouch, I really wouldn't like to piss you off, master. <laughs> I feel like I'm Dobby right now. <laughs> That's right, worm, when you're greedy for knowledge, come to me and bring money. A lot of money. So he sells us these appropriate skills where we actually need them. So let's see what he sells. So we can actually buy. So if we ask him to teach us the stuff, a uh, skill promotion, we can actually ask him to teach us how to be a dump diving expert and it requires a lot a lot of money like 300 cash like that right now so as you guys can see there is requiry of requiry <laughs> we require 10 energy so the hashtag is actually the energy that we can talk to him so right now we have 10 energy that we can talk to him so we this one requires 40 energy but it requires a lot cheaper which is 100 gold so yeah, that, that is what sometimes energy is great as well. And we can learn the skills from him. And this is our excellent hobo master. So let me just uh, get out of here because we have no money at all. And we, we can't even do anything right now. So if we were to take a look at a map again, we have three areas that we can build our houses in. Yeah, so I want to start by going to do a little bit of scouting right now let's go ahead we're gonna go over there and oh wow there's a toilet over here as well you know we gotta pay money to go in there so if you were to talk to the toilet attendant hello i'd like to put something down here uh, 20 crowns okay we can actually with the strategy we can ask for cheaper but normally cost 20 crowns okay the currency here it's crowns but uh, i like to say gold i don't know it looks like gold but we're gonna say crowns then so there is an area right behind the toilet that we can build our house in and that is the best place that we can be at it's the one place where we can call home the hobo's home look at a bunch of brand new areas that we can go to like right here working man we can ask for more bottles as well so we can do a lot of stuff here we can go in warm ourselves up we can we can steal from him so we can sell from him and we can back from him there uh i think with this one it's warm ourselves up and this one does nothing so we have zero zero energy right now but these stuff here do not need energy so let's see we're gonna let's see we're gonna bag some stuff okay Hopefully we can hit. Okay, dark blue one represents the best epic one. And it's definitely very hard to get. Even the green ones are hard to get already. Okay, let me just... Ah, damn it. Focus. Oh, man. 
<laughs> it even said, God damn it. All right, okay, okay, let's just leave. Oh man, so it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Let's see, where is the way down? I don't think it's here. Uh, I think it's over here. Let's just keep going. Uh, I think it's right there where we can start building stuff over there and we can sleep like very nice. An area where we can sleep. Okay, this area is kind of tough. And why don't I have stamina right now? I think I'm hungry, that's why. And I'm cold again. Oh man. See, this is why if you have no idea what to do in the game, you're definitely gonna suffer and you don't know what to do. See, I don't even know how to go back there. Oh man, I can't even run right now. I'm walking, I'm limping. Oh man, this is so, so bad. We have to find ourselves some help as soon as what we're back to square one guys oh man oh okay guys so this is probably all there is to it this wraps it up guys i don't have enough time to do some more for you guys but definitely we're gonna do more in the next episode we're gonna be one of the best hobos that this town this area here Preslav has ever seen before. One of the best hobos, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the face cam and stuff. And I hope you enjoyed. If you do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Luxy salute to you guys. And I'll see you guys again soon.